Well, this is a shot we've seen before, right? A back tire off of a fence. Um, the other night we got done tilling, filling up at the fuel pump with fuel, and I could smell gear oil. So I started looking around the tractor and I found a rear seal out on the rear axle. So I uh, tore it, the tires off, of course, to get in there. I figured it'd be a quick, easy seal fix, right? And uh, so uh, this is the this is the plate here. It just gets uh, bolted on there with the seal in it. And I pulled the seal out and it looks really good. So then, uh, you know, the next thing is, is why did the seal go out? So I initially was just gonna throw a new seal in it and call it good, but I got quite a bit of slop in there. Oh, it's gonna show up on the camera. But it's got a little too much slop in it. And then, uh, the oil has been leaking out a little bit and I wiped off and you can just see all the metal. It's not supposed to be shiny like that. Those are all metal filings. So, um, yeah, looks like we got to tear that, that whole housing off. We kind of were in there before when we did the brakes on this tractor. So we kind of know how to go at it, I guess, but I just think uh, I got to get in there and see if it's a bearing issue or if uh, those gears on the planetaries are gone. So we'll see how it goes. There's a snap ring down in there that we have to get at and it's kind of hiding behind there. I got to feel, there we go. Move that out of the way. There, now maybe I can get my, oh man. Got to try to get a snap ring pliers on that. That might be a little tricky. Okay, I have that snap ring loose. And so I have it on our car hoist here. And we'll see if it'll lift it out of there. <laughs> Excellent. There's that silly gear. Now that's on the end of the uh, axle shaft right there. Do a quick recap on that disassembly. Uh, that snap ring in the carrier gears, really difficult to get that out. I think that was the hardest thing I struggled with so far. Um, I think it's gonna be really hard to get it back together because you've got such a small area to work in. I was able just to use um, a small uh, um, snap ring pliers to get that out, but I had to use a pick and a screwdriver to get that separated. There's just not enough room to get these in there. Once I got that off, I was able to bring it back. Uh, there's a round nut that uh, holds the preload uh, onto the bearing, so you take silly phone calls. They didn't know that I was shooting a video, right? Okay, so that uh, round nut holds uh, the preload um, on, the, on the end of the axle shaft, so take those out, everything comes apart. Um, 
My ring gear and uh, the carrier gears all look really good. I don't see any issues with any of that. Uh, you can see it is a bearing failure. You know, if you can see how rough that is. Same way that all the, the rollers are just all chewed up. So um, I'm probably gonna have quite a cleanup. I can see even in the drum, I don't know if this will show up, the difference in coloration there. So I've got probably a lot of little fine metal pieces in there that I need to clean up. So um, I think I'm gonna have to probably take that carrier all apart with all the, with those three carrier gears on it, pull that apart, clean it up really good. Uh, my parts aren't gonna be until tomorrow morning. So I've got a little bit of time to, to get that stuff all cleaned up and uh, try to get ready for the assembly. But the hardest part, is this round nut. Um, our dealer does not have the socket to tighten that in. And in the, the assembly, they're saying that's gotta be tightened up, preloaded to 250 Newton meters. So uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I might have to make a socket or something. But uh, anyway, in the meantime, uh, we'll get ready for the assembly. Okay, I got the races all set in there already. I actually threw them in the freezer uh, to get them a little bit smaller, I guess. Uh, they went in really well. Um, the, the small race came out really easy, but the big one, it took a little bit to get that thing out of there, but uh, I got it out. The freezer thing seemed to work because it, it didn't just drop in there, but it went in really easily, so. Um, now on to the, the axle. We got to get the bearings onto that. Um, and I'm probably going to do the opposite of that. I'm probably going to put a pan of oil on and uh, get some heat into them, maybe make them a little bit bigger to get them over that, especially that big one, to get that on the shaft. All right, let's see what we got here for temperature. Three fifty. Three fifty. Okay. Hold on. Let's see how this works. <laughs> yeah, drops right on. All right. Get the other one in the oven. So good. I just uh, raised that housing up with the forklift and uh, set that axle underneath it and lowered it down. So right now it's resting on that bottom bearing. And uh, I'm gonna put some heat into that one, drop it in there and get it okay, torqued so up. So let those bearings set a little bit to cool before I tighten them in. Um, this takes a special socket, the uh, Agco part number. Uh, my dealer does not have that. So I kind of had to make one up. So I made this socket up to go onto there, like that. So this gets tightened to 250 Newton meters. And then they want the axle rotated uh, 10 times, I suppose, to make sure all those needle bearings are set in there. So torque to 250 Newton meters, rotated, and then this gets backed off 15 degrees, or what they say is four of these uh, spline grooves. So tighten to 250 Newton meters, rotate it 10 times, and then backed off 15 degrees. Okay, I'm getting ready to set this carrier gear on, and it has this little nub on there, right there. And that goes on one of the notches here on that nut, so that nut can't loosen up. So, got to make sure that's on there. It's not going to, you're not going to get that snap ring down in there on there if that's not set in there. But it might take a little bit to get that set on there. Ah, that's my happy dance. I just got that snap ring in there. I didn't think I was going to get it in there as hard as it came out. Yes. All right, here we are.
on the home stretch. I've got it all in there and uh <laughs> I don't know what to say, got the tires on. Uh, I guess assembly uh, recap. It went really well, everything went back together quite well. Um, back to that torquing that, those big nuts, you know, it's 250 Newton meters and then backing it off 15 degrees, but when you read through there, you kinda gotta tighten it up. They want a uh, half a millimeter end play on that shaft, so. Um, don't just back that off 15 degrees and that's set. You kind of got to work with it. And then when you're setting that housing, that, that carrier down on there, that um, anti-rotation peg for the nut, um, you got to line that nut up just so, so that thing locks in there. So I would say it's a little bit by feel. Um, I felt it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but uh, we're all ready to rock and roll here. Yep, the shop's not getting clean tonight because we're supposed to get a bunch of rain tomorrow. So um, I'm gonna leave the, the shop as a mess and go see if it uh, works out in the field. So that's uh, it for that, uh, that axle bearing and seal. So I don't know what to say other than adios. Oh wait, if you like this, subscribe, click the little bell if you want, get a notification next time we throw something up on YouTube. But uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, I post some of them places. So uh, yeah, once again, adios!